Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their head back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is 29. Kiesa is 32. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Spokane Valley, Washington, Michael Maverick Kiesa! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go, the weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter. Taking on ultimately the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He him. has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems trying to bring the fight into a closer distance.
what a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his head. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Beautiful kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes he doesn't get up. Nice right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Kiesa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, a huge block there. Try to establish that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Gets caught into that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just misses with the straight left hand. Yes, it gets caught with that punch. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Sneaky head kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. And he landed the right hand there. He has his strike attempt there is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back and forth we go! Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Stay sharp. 15 seconds. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Goes back to that left kick once again. Nice punch lands over the top. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now connects with a right. Attack that lead leg with the low kick now. Circling to his right. Right punches there. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Throws the right hand there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. Cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Whips on the straight right hand. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he continues to work the body here. He has his lower jaw very swollen now. Time to fight down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Joy's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Just over three minutes to go. That's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh. oh, straight right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. It up nicely in terms of staying. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Nice counter left there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Effective strike there by Choi. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Michael Chiesa. Leg kick checked effectively there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge... Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. coming high. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful punch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice hook there by Kies. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All 
right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Choice torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Punch over the top. Big body kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Just missed with the straight left hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Great punch. Just over three minutes to go now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hand upstairs. Oh, big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He has his kick is blocked. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, big left hook there. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh. He's, He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. That one is going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. Oh. He's out. He got him! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.